Hello everyone and welcome back to our European Journeyman series on FM17. We are now getting towards the end of our time at Benfica. Um, if we have a look at the schedule, you'll see right now we need to try and finish off the league title campaign and then we've got the Taça de Portugal Placar final. Um, last time I said that I'd wrap all of this up in one more episode. I think having thought about it, it might be nicer if we finish off the league title campaign in this episode, try and overcome Sporting. Um, at the moment, we've got a two-point gap at the top of the league, but we've still got to play Braga away and Sporting away, so that's going to be quite difficult in these last few games. And then next episode, we'll take on FC Porto in our final match at the club. It's the Portugal Placar final, um, so that'll be a big game. And then we can do our end of um, season and end of club review and maybe take a look at where we might end up for our next club in the next episode. Now at the moment I still don't know where I'm going. I'm hoping you guys will be able to help me out um, by giving me ideas. Just tell me what you'd like to see, even if it's a lower league, a bigger league. Um, I'm really open to doing something, but I would like my next club to be a maybe four to five season challenge because at the moment Valencia and now Benfica have only been two years. So I'd like a little club where I could build a project and hopefully win um, quite a few trophies but I want to really earn them I think at Benfica I felt like they've been given to me a bit too easily although Sporting are definitely trying to make that more difficult in the league just as they did last time out so there is still quite a bit to be getting on it with in this episode. We'll be taking on Braga, Madeira, Aruca, Sporting and then Rio Ave in our final league game at the club. But it's that match against Sporting that's absolutely huge. And this one against Braga is very important as well because they have been a bit of a sticky team sometimes. So we need to make sure we get a good result out of the bag. Um, for that, we've got Cavani and Penaranda up top with Pereira just behind them. Then it's Lewis Cook, Pineda and Bazua in the middle. Arke, Jardel, Vallejo and Canseo are the back four with Alex Murray in goal. Canseo sends the ball into Bazour. Sent over to Jardel. Now Arke, bringing it forward to Pereira. Ball over to Bazour, he's got a lot of space. So is Canseo on the right. He takes it down the line, puts it inside and Penaranda hits the defender. Pereira over the top and Penaranda's got onto it. He's got Cavani in the middle to aim at. He finds Cavani who's hit the woodwork or it was saved. I'm not sure which, but it didn't go in. Luis Cook forward to Pereira. Now Penaranda across to Bazour. Cook again. Ball sent out to Mano. I think he's lost the ball in a tackle there, Luis Kirk. And now Andrada on the attack. Braga only one shot so far in this game, but they've managed to score. We've had 11 efforts, 6 on target. They've had 2, 1 on target, and we are losing. Willian. Forward to Andrada. Just 20 minutes of this game left, and Andrada has scored a screamer of an effort, and we are 2-0 down to Braga. Luis Kirk. Over to Pineda. Now Fernandez. Ball out wide to Canseo. People to aim at in the middle. He puts a cross in. And it's come to Lewis Cook. Now Memphis finds Cavani to Cook again. Who puts it wide. That sums up our day today completely. Well there's a the full time whistle. We've been beaten 2-0 by a Braga. The only had three efforts on target that was absolutely not good enough and it opens the title race wide up now sporting if they win their game in hand will go one point clear at the top and we've only got four games left to play well we're going to take on Uniao de madeira today but it's worth noting that sporting are top of the league but we have a game in hand both teams on 71 points now they have the better head-to-head -head ratio which is why they are currently at the top as far as I understand it so even though we've got the better goal difference they are sitting top and we are going to have to beat them if we're going to rely on finishing level on points at the end of this season so we need to get the win today to give us a bit of breathing room but even then we must not lose when we play sporting later in this episode but that all starts with a win today against Madeira. Um, for this match, we are going to use the home formation. Memphis is coming in on the left flank with Mateus Pereira on the right flank. Pineda, Cook, Antiago, Maia in the middle. Grimaldo, Jardel, Vallejo and Pinheiro at the back four. And Edison Cavani continues to lead the line, even though he hasn't scored in a little while now. Jardel. 
Just been allowed to wander forward. Now Lewis Cook has it in a good position. He sends it out wide and does find Pinheiro this time. Ball comes to Matthias Pereira, pulls it across, and Cavani's hit the woodwork. It's come to Thiago Maia. Now Grimaldo can't score either. Pineda in from the free kick. Jardel nodded it on, and Vallejo at the back post has given us the crucial lead in the title race. Cook with the corner into the middle. There's a foul in there from Almeida. We've got the penalty, and I'll give you three guesses as to who's going to take it. He's missed all three penalties he's taken at this club. Can he finally get it in? He's missed again. What is wrong with Edison Cavani? Thiago Maia onto Pineda. Now Cavani. Ball out to Cook. Finds Pinheiro. He puts the cross in. Cleared out to Thiago Maia. And he nearly scored another stunning goal. Grimaldo. Across to Cook, middle of the pitch, he finds Pinheiro with a good ball, whipped to the back post, and there's the header from Cavani. When he misses a penalty, we usually score, uh, he, or he usually scores a couple of goals, and we usually end up winning quite comfortably. Memphis with a free kick into Jardel, who's headed it into the back of the net, 3-0, and it's just about half-time. Pinedo with the free kick. Pereira heads it on and Vallejo is there to make it four. Well, there's the full-time whistle and it is a crucial win that takes us three points clear at the top of the league table. A very much needed win by a lot of goals. Means three points clear, three games to go. Well, against Aruco, we need to win. Sporting have already won their fixture in this weekend so they are now back at the top on the head-to-head -head ratio and we are playing them in the match after this one so we need the win to move three points clear of them again I'm going to put out the same team pretty much that won the last game in fact I don't think there's any changes whatsoever it's the same 11 trying to get the same result Aritz loses the ball to Cook now Pereira to Pineda he's attacking forward a man making a run on the left it's Grimaldo he can put the cross in from deep there it goes, it's deflected. Pereira's header comes to Cavani, it's gone just wide. Grimaldo on the left flank, sends a cross in, and it's come to Lewis Kirk. Now Memphis, he hooks the ball into the far post to give us a crucial lead. Memphis on the attack, loses the ball, Pineda picks it up and slips through Grimaldo. He puts the cross in, and Pereira's hit the woodwork. There's a win for us. It's a narrow 1-0 victory in a game we totally dominated. But the main thing is that we have got the three points on the board. And with two games to go, we are three points clear. Well, here is the title deciding game. It's going to be an absolutely huge one away against Sporting. You may remember they beat us 5-3, I think, at home. Um, and had that game been reversed, had we won that instead of Sporting, we would have the league title wrapped up by now. So that was a very important game in the title race, and we need to make sure that we do not lose today. Not losing will keep us in the driving seat for the final game of the season. A win, I think, will give us the title, a defeat, and the title will almost certainly go to Sporting because of their better head-to-head -head ratio. So we absolutely have to win this match and get that title all sewn up. Now, I'm going to use the away formation. I'm going to be aggressive. I want goals. We're going to have Cavani and Jimenez together up front for possibly the first time. I don't remember if we've done that before. Uh, Mateus Pereira is just behind them. And I know some of you might be curious as to why he is playing ahead of Lincoln. But look at how good he is. He is absolutely fantastic. Um, an excellent, excellent signing. Um, Richidli, Bazur and Pineda are in the middle with Lewis Cook. Grimaldo, Jardel, Vallejo and Canseo are our strongest back four and they will continue again today. Alex Murray in goal. I think this is possibly the strongest team that I could actually put out. So I'm hoping they can get the win we desperately need. Free kick early in the game. Put into Matias Pereira. Sends it back to Canseo who's charging forward. Now Jimenez. Comes to Canseo again. He goes for goal and Canseo, our former Valencia man, has scored a goal that could decide the title. Lewis Cook in the middle to Pereira. Now Bazour across to Cook again. Pereira. Ball play forward to Cavani. 
Pereira to Bazul and Cavani straight at the keeper. Mallow sends the ball in. Gelson's got it. Well won. Two players doubling up on him and then sending the ball forward. And Jimenez knocks it on for Zé Gomez. Cavani got injured, so Gomez has come on. Silva sends the ball forward. Won by the defenders, but now Prato has it. Across to Mateus. He's having a run down the left, but it's ricocheted to Lewis Cook. Keeps the ball just about. Now Bazour. A lot of space around him. Surely he can pick a pass. He finds Grimaldo, who beats the defender a bit too easily. But Gelson has got back and then given the ball straight to Lewis Cook. Here's Jimenez. Can he slip it through? There's Zé Gomez. And he's come on as a first half sub. And he's made it 2 0. Corner for Sporting. Put into the middle. Cleared away. Duarte is chasing it. Ball put in again, Canseo away, Bazour on, Pereira on, now Zé Gomez plays it forward to Jimenez, a rapid counter-attack, Pereira back to Bazour, now Zé Gomez, four across, five across, Canseo puts it wide. Corner from Silva, cleared away by the first man. Hugo Malo back to Silva, ball over towards Gelson, headed away by Grimaldo, now Zé Gomez, can he launch the counter-attack? We are streaming forward, but he's given the ball away. Magalan. To William. Or William. Pineda loses the ball. Prato. Out to Hugo Malo. He puts the ball in. And Calidio Cal uh, has managed to come in and make it 2-1. And despite our utter dominance, there's only one goal in this. Grimaldo's free kick. Deflects to Raul Jimenez, who goes down in the box. Vallejo, following up, has snuck it into the bottom corner. That came out of nowhere. I thought we were going to get the penalty. But Vallejo was there to make it 3-1. Colidio, ball given to Jardel, who sends it forward to Zé Gomez. He's still going. He plays it across to Pineda. Now Cook, on to Canseo. Ball over to Bazour. Pereira in a good position is tackled. Bazour picks it up. Now Cook finds Canseo. Just about keeps the ball. Back to Pineda we go. Now Cook. Again, spread out to Canseo. Jimenez to Pereira. Into Gomez, who puts it wide. Gelson forward to Prato. He's got Calidio and Calidio has made it 3-2. Sporting are not taking this game lying down. Hugo Malo sends the ball forward to Prato. Pineda wins it. Now Bazaar, 15 minutes left. He's given the ball to Silva there. Now it's Guardado. Pineda cuts it out, sends it on a diagonal, but it's cut out again. And Sporting are looking on top right now. Hugo Malo into Gelson. Back to Hugo Malo, but Murray cuts it out. You just have to look at our shots differences, the possession differences. We've been totally dominant. This should be home and dry for us by now, and we really need to try and get that goal. But here's Colidio, and he finds Prato in on goal, and Prato has made it 3-3. Now, that is not the end of the world for us, but if they score another one, the title race is no longer in our hands. Just five minutes left. It's Canseo on the ball. Now Pineda in the middle. Forward to Pereira. He's still going. Loses the ball though. Kubas picks it up. Now Grimaldo. Back to Pineda. Ball over to Kubas again. Grimaldo. Can he play it forward? He does. There's Pereira. In a great position. He looks for Kubas. Cleared away by the defender. And Sporting can counter-attack. It's Calidio. They've got such a dangerous strike force. Galidio to Prato. Murray with a stunning save. Martins offside. We have just about escaped that one. Normally I would be in overload territory about now, but it's just too risky, I think. Still, a couple of minutes left. It's Fernandez to Pineda. If somebody scores now, it would be a 90th minute league title winning goal. And there's Zé Gomez. Brings it down, but loses the ball. Canseo picks it up. He's still got it. I'm not sure what he's going to do with it. He sent it back to Murray, who launches it down the field. Jimenez wins the header, but to nobody. And now it's Mateus down the line for Calidio. They are so dangerous on the attack. And there's the ball across. He was not far away from that far post, but we've survived again. Just a couple of minutes left to see out in the most dramatic derby game in a while. Here's Pereira, last minute free kick into the middle. Comes back to him again. He sends it across and it's cleared by Silva. And that is the full-time whistle. The title race remains in our own hands. And that is the main thing to take from all of this. We are still three points clear heading into the final match of the season where a draw 
will give us the title. But if we lose and Sporting win, it will be all over for us and the title will go to Sporting. But we should be getting a result in that final game. Well, here it is. It all comes down to this match. We are at home in the final league game of the season. We're taking on Rio Ave, who at the moment are the bottom club in the league. Or oh, sorry, no, they're 16th in the league. Just two points off being the bottom club. Um, so we are in a pretty good position at home against a team like this. We should be winning. We're going to use the home formation and Raul Jimenez is the superstar back up front. He led us to our first league title and I'm hoping he can secure our second. He's got Memphis and Matias Pereira in support with Pineda, Cook and Thiago Maia at the midfield trio. Grimaldo, Jardel, Vallejo and Canseo are ahead of Murray in the defence and I am sure we are going to win the league title for the second year in a row and sign off in style from Portugal. Corner from Grimaldo, sent into the middle, it's come to Vallejo who scores the goal we desperately needed. As you can see in the top left, Sporting had taken the lead just one minute before we did, which meant that at that point... We were at risk of losing the top had we conceded. But now we're 1-0 up. We are in a much better position to stay three points clear of Sporting. Corner from Grimaldo. Sent it into the middle. Cleared away. Cook heads it down to Grimaldo again. Here he is. Sends it in. And Jimenez is there. He's made it 2-0 at the very same time that Sporting have been pegged back to 1-1. And right now we're going to finish five points clear at the top. Free kick from Pineda into the middle. Vallejo to Jardel. It's 3-0, a captain's goal. But he's offside. He's been ruled offside. Well, at halftime, we are 2-0 up and looking good. Um, Sporting missed the penalty, which means it's still 1-1 in their fixture. But at this point, it's all about us and just making sure we see this game through. Well, with 10 minutes left, Sporting are being pegged back to 2-2. So we're still on for that five-point finish at the top. Now, here's Canseo bringing the ball inside. He goes for goal. It's straight at the keeper. But we are looking set to win our second league title. And it means we keep up this remarkable record of having won every single competition we have entered in Portugal. We've still got one more to go in the final in next episode. But with two minutes left, we are almost certainly league champions for a second year in a row. Memphis's free kick being saved. But that should be the full-time whistle. Just waiting for the keeper to clear it down the pitch. There it goes, and there's the full-time whistle. We are the Portuguese champions for the second year in a row. It means we're signing off with another league title in the bag, finishing five points clear of Sporting at the top of the table. A very, very good end to the season. A quite dramatic one as well, finishing in a nice, relaxed way ultimately. But we have won the league yet again. Adding to this little history, when we came in, Sporting had won the league and Benfica had finished third after being champions four years in a row. But we have come back and re-established the dominance that is Benfica and we are looking very good. I love this history of the Portuguese league where it's pretty much only ever been won by three teams. Going all the way back to Belenenses in 45-46. Otherwise, no other Portuguese team has ever won the league which is really, really funny. Um, but we've won it again, second time in a row. And now we've got that final to go in the Portuguese Cup. That will be our last match at Benfica. Then we will be moving on to a new club. Now let's just have a quick look at the job security screen. And you will see that there are a few jobs that are possibly about to be coming free, including maybe even the Barcelona and Bayern jobs, which would be huge if they became available. Um, let me know what you think about those two jobs. They are tempting me an awful lot. Um, I'd love to get that bloody Barcelona job that we've been trying to get for so long. Um, Bayern would also be quite interesting. They finished third in the season. I'd love to have a go at the Bundesliga with Bayern. And Inter Milan still a very viable option. I think at this point, one of these three teams, if they become available before the Euros, I will apply for them and see if I can get them. Um, because I'm happy with all three of these. They'd all be quite entertaining, I think. Um, but... 
we could also wait until after the Euros as well before deciding what we want to do. I've still not made my mind up. I think it might even come as a surprise to me when I finally do decide. But that is going to be it for this episode. Drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed seeing us win yet another league title in Portugal. Um, I think that now is trophy number... I want to say seven, six? Trophy number six? I think it's trophy number six. Um... And then we've uh, it's trophy number six in Portugal, trophy number seven overall, and we've still got one more to go. That could take us to eight trophies over four seasons in this game. Um, so that would be very nice as well. But next time we're going to live come that final against Porto. We'll do the end of season and end of club review, and I might even reveal where we go next. So make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you want to see what happens in the next one. But until next time, see ya.